Since the arrival of the Americans in the Philippines in 1898, Filipinos have persistently demanded independence from American colonization, but the Americans had their own agenda for the Philippines. American officials appointed Filipino politicians to key government positions, hoping to make Filipinos forget about their desire for independence. However, the appointment of Francis Burton Harrison as Governor General and the passage of the Jones Law in 1916 changed the political landscape in the Philippines. The Jones Law promised independence once a stable government was established and paved the way for the Filipinization of the bureaucracy. Filipinos expected that it would not be long before America considered them competent to manage their own affairs. But the Filipinos' aspiration for independence was dealt a blow with the election of Republican President Warren Harding in 1920. Harding sent Leonard Wood and William Cameron Forbes, the Wood Forbes mission, to observe if the Filipinos had complied with the conditions of the Jones Law. The mission result was not favorable to the cause of Filipino independence. The report exposed the corruption and patronage system prevalent in government-owned and controlled corporations during the Harrison era. When Leonard Wood retired from the U.S. Army in 1920, Harding appointed him as a Governor General of the Philippines. Wood monitored closely the activities of local officials and checked their misconduct. However, Wood's reforms and the reassertion of American power government were not taken well by Quezon and the Filipino bureaucrats. The situation was seen as year passed and reached its height with the cabinet crisis of 1923. The Filipinos' determination for independence persisted despite the American policies. The article shows how the Filipinos navigated the political landscape under the American colonial rule. It sheds light on the impact of the Jones Law, the Woods Forbes mission, and the appointment of Leonard Wood as Governor General on the Filipinos' quest for independence. It also highlights the political and social condition during the Harrison and Wood administrations, and the Filipinos' officials' corruption and patronage system prevalent during the period.